Um, so how do you communicate with a person with dementia? It is very important that you communicate with them effectively so that you can meet their needs. Use a calm voice. If you are stressed, if you are anxious and you are angry, that communication is only going to elicit exactly the same response from the person with dementia. They're like a mirror and they will mirror your behavior because they are not understanding exactly what it is that you're trying to communicate. So be calm, use uh, simple language, make eye contact. Eye contact is very important with the person with dementia. So you have to establish eye contact so that you can communicate effectively with them. Um, be aware of their reality. What is their reality? Remember that a lot of them live in their head. As the disease progresses, they're inside their head most of the time. And so you want to get them out of there. And you want to make sure that you understand what their reality is, what it is that they're feeling, what it is that they're going through, what it is that their perception of the situation is. It's very important. Um, reassure, redirect, and, and be kind to the person. I know a lot of the time you might be very anxious, you might be very stressed, maybe even angry, but that's not the time to communicate with the patient that anger, as we talked already about. Um, do not talk about bad news or bad situations or remember, remind the person of um, a past event whether recent or in, in the past uh, that would elicit anger or stress or, or sadness in them. It's better not to address some of those issues because they don't understand. So stay away from discussing bad news with them. And also, again, do not show your mood. Do not show that you're stressed. Do not show that you're angry. Do not show that you're confused or that you're fright frightened of uh, the situation so show your patience show a good mood at all all the time um, happy smiley faces to avoid uh, triggering behaviors in them so daily in dealing with the patient make sure that you establish and maintain a routine that you get up at the same time you eat breakfast at the same time you have activities for the person with uh, dementia at the same time. So that makes your day go easier and a little bit less of an opportunity for the behaviors to come up. Um, of course, things change uh, from day to day, but it is important that you have a routine and a schedule that you stick to on a daily basis. Um, remain physically active. Do not change schedules. I know sometimes you might have the feeling or you might be pressed for time. Don't change the times, don't change the schedule. Stick to the schedule. It will help you manage the person with uh, dementia. Provide treats and rewards for the behaviors. Uh, make sure that if they are well behaved or that they are calm that you recognize that and that you reward that behavior so that they know uh, and understand that you know it's a good thing in the meantime be good to yourself and be good to the person you're providing care for and remember you're doing the best that you can